Hello there, welcome back to another episode with of Minecraft 1.9 Vanilla Survival with me, MG Eastman. And occasionally Turbo Tooley when he's on the server. Here we are back on the server, and as promised, I am going to make a farm. Well, no, I say a farm. <laughs> a, a crop farm, this one. Because uh, there are different kinds of farms that you can make in Minecraft. One of which I shall show you quite soon. Indeedly so. Now, what I first need to do, which I've just realised. Uh, do I really... No, I don't really need to... Dig any more dirt, do I? Loads. Um, right. I don't really need that many. Let's just take half a stack. That's going to be plenty. Right. Now... What we need to do is, I have some oak wood, which I've, <laughs> as you can probably see there, there are some, some leaves still up in the air, uh, <laughs> where I've like chopped down the trees. Right. What I will do is I'll start there. I think that's what we'll do, yes. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, no, eight, that's right, you need nine. Nine across like so. And we'll go one, whoops, <laughs> one, two, three. Because one, two, three. If we do four, then one. Then we go one, two, three, four. And five, that will be. Uh, this row. Oh, whoops. Not doing that. Ooh, ooh. Uh, and then we will do this. Yeah, that's right. Uh, do the same across this way. Whoops, boop, boop. Oh, stop doing that. Boop, but now. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Over. Ooh, there we go. Right. <laughs> Gosh darn it. No. Oh, actually, yeah, I'll probably need more dirt. What we will do now is one, two, three, one. That is two rows. Um, one, two, 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 two. I think we're gonna be. I oh, know we're gonna be. F we're gonna be fine. But I do need to go and get some more dirt. Because I've just realised I wasn't going to make it that big. But when, you know, when you think about it, why not? So, let's grab a bit more dirt. Now, this is the kind of farm uh, that you see in villages. It's just so simple to make. Like I said, this is not a how-to series. This is just something that I want to do anyway. Uh, oops. I knew I'd do that. Do, do, do. Right. Now, you're going to get grass growing it. But we'll, we'll sort that out. Oops. Why did I press that? <laughs> Let's get some water and go. Boop. Then get some more water and go. Boop. Then get some more water. <laughs> No. Boop. Uh, actually, if I do that, I can get it from there and go. Boop. And then go. Boop. And then, for some reason, put a torch down. <laughs> and then. Right, yeah, sorry. No. Kind of done that a bit wrong. Right, there we go. That's done that. We now have water. Now, water is good for up to four sort of blocks away. Now what you need is a ho. <laughs> right click with a ho. And it does that. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. The hoe basically tills the land. 
as the saying goes. Then we want seeds and we will plant seeds. As you can see, when it goes dark, that means it's getting water. That's why I say that you can go up to four blocks wide, which is what we have done. Do, 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 boop, boop, oops. And there we go, that's one side done. So that will grow uh, wheat. Now, <coughs> excuse me, uh, we've got, you know, actually I didn't realise just how big that is. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, that doesn't really give us much room over this side. I'm going to leave this side for now because I don't have any other crops. I only have wheat at the moment. Well, wheat, uh, yeah, the seeds to plant the wheat. That's all I have. So what I need to do is find another village or somehow from somewhere. Um, let's so put some torches. But from somewhere, we need to uh, find more crops. Sleepy, 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 sleepy. Sleepy, 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 sleepy. And there we go. <laughs> Up. Oh dear. Burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. <laughs> Yes, burn, burn you nasty mobs. <laughs> right, that's uh, that's got rid of those. Uh, yeah, I think because of the stuff, well, no, not so the grand scale of of the thing. It's not going to be like I said, <laughs> it's going to be pretty big, and it basically means. I need to fill in some more uh, of this. So, get rid of that so we can put that. And I think that will do. That will actually make it, in a way, not so much bigger. I actually need to make me another pickaxe as well because I've got a great pickaxe there with Fortune 2 on, but I'm not going to use that to do this. So let's uh, let's break this so that because the thing is I don't want it too close uh, to the thing there. So I want to take it back a bit like that. That's that's more like it. Um, <clears throat> do do do. So, what I will do, let me lay out the base of the, the, the shed, I guess you could say it's going to be. And I'll, uh, I'll bring you back once I'm at a, a sort of more, <laughs> a more proficient stage. Right, okay, that's pretty much what I've come up with so far. This is going to be a kind of building a bit similar to what I did... No, my snapshot world. That's right. That's the one I did one before. Uh, which, it was a 1.9 snapshot as well. So, yeah, that's it. But this is basically like the, the general layout. Um, I'm going to sleep, and then when I wake up, I will do a bit more, and I will bring you right back. And there we go. As you have just seen, I've got the achievement for breeding the cows. Because I've just... They were just over there, and... Oh, there we go. Got those there. Uh, I've put chickens in there. And, uh... Yeah, let, let me just go and sleep really quickly. Um... <laughs> 
do apologise for bringing you back right at this sort of moment when you know I'm due to uh, go to sleep because I want to basically get rid of the daytime. Uh, get rid of the daytime. No, get rid of the night time. <laughs> Derp. Um. Right. So this one, uh, basically what I've done, uh, put the cows in there because cows, they're going to be a sort of a, a twin source, I guess you could say. A kind of for leather and meat. Uh, chickens are mainly for meat. Maybe feathers. I don't, you can't really use feathers for much. Um, I will probably put pigs in there and sheep in there. The sheep will mainly be used, again, I suppose a double purpose. One, if we've got enough, you could like kill some for food, but mainly for wool. So, let me just go up here. That is what it looks like at the moment. As you can see, from pretty decorations, and I've just noticed a bit at the front here. I've repaired the, the, the golden axe a bit. Um, oh, no, I put them away. Oh, uh, but I'll put uh, some leaves there, just to kind of pretty it up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, then I'll sort of put a, a layer over the top there, and, well, work on some kind of roof. Um, but yeah, that's going to be my little animal farm. Now, when I was saying there are other kind of farms that you can make, let me just briefly show you... Something that Turbo Tooley made, and we will go through the process with another spawner. Yes, it's a mob farm. Be right back. Right, here we are, back again. Guess who's back? Back again. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of skeletons here. And... They can't touch me. Na, 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 na. Because this is glass. Now what happens is these skeletons they spawn in a room behind there. Now the reason it's blocked off is because it needs to be dark in order for them to spawn from the spawner. Now the spawn they go down some water. They have to travel along here. Until they get to there, do, 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 do. then they go up this uh, rather high lift. It's about 22 blocks high or something like that. Uh, they go across the top there. Well, you'll see. That guy with the armour. Well, the skeleton with the armour. He goes right to the top there. Across and... Boom. Now, when they land... It knocks them to almost sort of death, like half a heart away. Now what happens is, all I need to do then is go... And... Do, 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 do. I get a lot of XP. I do that. And I get a lot more XP. <laughs> and I go... And... Basically, until like, they're all dead. <laughs> now, you might think, what's this? If you've never seen it before, that's a hopper. What happens is when they drop, and like you chop, you know, they kill them, their stuff, such as like the bows and arrows and stuff that they're holding, all goes into this chest. As you can see, there's all those arrows in there, all the bones, and in that... Oh, there's actually nothing in that chest. I was expecting there might be some bows or something, because I've set this chest to just collect all the bones and arrows. And, well, there you go. Once this gets full, obviously we can empty it out. We can either use the arrows for ourselves, uh, but the main thing is the bones we can use for bone meal. So, we do that and... Uh, so yeah, that is our skeleton mob farm, or XP farm. And the good thing with that, now that, actually have I still got, yeah, there it is, a fishing rod. 
I actually got this fishing rod uh, from fishing. <laughs> I literally fished a fishing rod out of the water. And it had got... Um, yeah, it had already got that. Unbreaking three and mending, that's right. Now the thing is, every time you use the fishing rod, it, you get XP. Because what every time you fish anything out of the water, it gives you XP. XP, the way that the mending um, the mending enchant works is that XP repairs the item. So, it is literally a, I suppose what you could call, a never-ending fishing rod. The unbreaking three is completely unnecessary because of it having mending. So, but there you go. Uh, and the thing is, as part of, <laughs> because like the spawners beyond there, what we do, uh, Turbo Turley set up this water so that you can literally stand there uh, while the uh, the skeletons are spawning to sort of go down up and to drop there. You can do a bit of fishing. <laughs> and I'll tell you what, fishing is a brilliant idea because you can get loads of stuff. Well, for example, I've got this fishing rod, which is li quite literally a never-ending fishing rod. I will never need another fishing rod. Anyway, right, that's all I have to show you for this uh, episode. Like I promised, I actually did something. I didn't just give you an update. <laughs> um, I actually made a little farm, and I've started doing uh, like the animal. Oops, excuse me, bumping the mic again. I actually did well. Made a start on the animal sort of barn shelter farm thing. I will finish that off next time, uh, and yeah. There we go, and like I said, we've got the mob farm there to get lots of XP, which will help enchant things and stuff like that. Right. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you watched it all the way through and you've enjoyed what you've seen, then please give it a like. If you'd like to see more of this kind of thing, then please follow or subscribe, and you'll be notified when I upload more. But for now, I shall bid you adieu, and... Say <laughs> goodbye!